Hi, I am doing something very wholesome and fun tonight. I wanted to bring you guys along so that you could maybe feel like you were doing it too with us and also just for the men's because I think it's gonna be so cute and fun. The other day I was hanging out with some of my friends and we decided we wanted to have a cute little fall night. So that's what we're doing tonight. I am heading out in like an hour to go over there. Autumn prepared some snacks. We have houses like gingerbread houses but Halloween themed haunted ones from Trader Joe's that we got. So we're gonna have a gingerbread Halloween haunted house making competition. And I think we might watch like a Halloween movie or something. I don't know, it's gonna be a lot of fun and I'm excited. I wanted to vlog tonight. I just got a little bit ready. I still need to obviously like change because I've just been wearing this all day, but I, oh, hi, Charlie. Oh my goodness. I did not know you were there. You guys wanna see Charlie? Of course you do. Where are you going? Where are you going? Don't mind all this stuff on the floor. She's camera shy. Don't take it personally. I just ordered my salad. If you know, you know what I mean by that. It's not the salad from Chopped, like the Southwest, whatever, what the is it called? Spicy Sonoma Caesar, that was my that was my favorite salad, but they like stopped making it, which is painful. So I get like a variation of that, but apparently they were out of the chicken that I usually get, so they called me and they put in other chicken. So I hope it's good. I'm gonna sit here and eat this really quickly. It's like not fully dinner time like it's kind of early for dinner but i knew we were gonna have some snacks tonight so i didn't want to eat dinner a too late or b have something too much i don't know i wanted to have room for all the snacks because i for one love snacks i'm gonna do a taste test pretty good this is a lot holy f i'm gonna eat this and then i'll be back so that i can pick an outfit we can pack our shit up and get the shoulder up. Okay, now I need to pick out what I'm going to wear. And we have some options. I just got some new things from ThreadUp for fall. ThreadUp is actually sponsoring today's video, so thank you so much to ThreadUp for sponsoring yet again. ThreadUp is an online thrift store. They have over 30,000 brands on there at up to 90% off of estimated retail prices. I've been shopping on ThreadUp for literal years. I think I might've said this in my last video. I'm like trying to remember the order of things, but fall obviously is my favorite season and fall fashion is my favorite fashion. Fall is my favorite season to dress for. So I got some new things from ThreadUp. Four out of like the six or so items I have here are black. So, I mean, shocker. Before I show you all what I got, I wanted to give you guys a couple of my best tips for shopping on ThreadUp because like I said, there's over 30,000 brands on there. There's so many items. Sometimes can feel a bit overwhelming to sort through all of them to find what you're looking for. The first one is probably my favorite and that is if a store that you like has its own brands. It's easiest to just use an example. So Aritzia. Aritzia has brands like Babaton, Wilfred, TNA, Sunday Best. So instead of searching Aritzia on ThreadUp, search Babaton, Wilfred, Wilfred Free, TNA, Sunday best and you'll find so much more stuff than if you type Aritzia because technically the label that's on the clothes is one of those sub brands and it's not doesn't just say Aritzia. You know what I mean? I figured that out my world changed, I'm not gonna lie. That is what I did with this bodysuit. I've worn this already, so there's like literal deodorant marks on it, so don't mind that. I got this little black sleeveless high neck bodysuit by Babaton. Babaton's one of my favorite brands. Another tip that may seem obvious, but I, a lot of the time, don't do this on other websites. I don't know, I just don't really feel like filling it all out. But for ThreadUp, I feel like it's really important to really use the filters that they have available on the side so that you can try and narrow down the selection as much as possible so that you're only looking at things that match exactly what you're looking for. For example, I got a couple of pairs of kind of dress pants, but I've been really liking the style and I've been seeing it around the city while I've been walking of like a high-waisted dress pant, but the legs are like super wide and flowy. People are wearing them obviously to work, but also you can wear them as like a street style piece. So I got these ones first. These are a navy blue pair. They are so flowy. Like the leg is so wide. They're so freaking cool. I'm so freaking excited to like style this in like a street style look. And then I got another pair. I got these ones. These are from Zara. Again, they have the wide leg. These ones have like a black and white and gray pattern. It's giving like accountant, but chic. And then I was also looking for shorts that same way, the same filters as the pants. I ended up finding these ones. They're just a black pair of shorts. The legs are super wide, which I really like. I don't have any shorts like this. Again, you can dress them up or down. And it's still 75 degrees. 
right now here in the city so clearly it's not too cold to wear shorts <laughs> they're probably my two best tips and the ones that i use the most often at least the ones that are coming to mind right now but i wanted to share them in case that would help anybody in your search i did get two more things so i'm going to show you those right now the first thing i got is another leather jacket this one i got because it's long and i love that it's not long to be a trench coat but it's still longer than if like I wore a dress under it. It would cover the back of the dress, if that makes sense. It's a look that I'm going for, okay? This leather jacket is such good quality. It is so thick. I just love a good leather jacket, especially living in New York. They're always in. And then the final thing that I got is a little white hoodie. I love Gap hoodies. They're so classic and for some reason they give like a vintage athletic vibe, which I understand this is not vintage, but it just feels that way. It feels nostalgic. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. I'm probably going to wear this tonight. That's it for my little haul. Thank you so much to ThreadUp for sponsoring today's video again. If you're interested in checking out ThreadUp, you can click the link in my description and use code HANNAH30 for 30% off, an additional 30% off of your first order from ThreadUp. I actually need to figure out what pants I'm wearing because I'm sure as hell not wearing jean shorts because they're not comfortable. I want a comfortable, cozy vibe because that is what we're going for tonight. I need to leave in like 20 minutes so I can catch the bus. Charlie, did you shake my white sports bra, sweet girl? I'm gonna go switch my laundry, put this on, and then figure out pants I'm wearing, and I will be back. Okay, I think I decided that my only option is to just pretend like this is not blue. <laughs> and just simply pretend like it's black because I'm just gonna wear my black biker shorts and white sneakers if you see the whole look it's kind of giving princess diana but if princess diana was like a dumb bitch that lived in new york which she completely wasn't so it was like actually rude of me to say that in the first place but nobody's gonna know nobody's gonna know how would they know to this Beautiful. camera because it is far too dark now for the other one because it was made in like the 2000s. We went for so that's like why we went. You always let me know. I didn't do it, but if I did, this is how I would have done it. This is where you'll find the body. That's good. That's good. They really, they really did. Just come out. All right. Can we uh, pop the scariest place in New York? <laughs> yeah, apparently, according to everyone. It ever. started with one time in Times Square. Oh. Yes. That's a scary place. The, yeah. All right, everybody. Once upon a time. Wait, that's not how you start <laughs> ghost stories. That's fairy tale. Oh, yeah, like long ago. Long ago. Yeah, once upon a time. One dreary night. One dark, dreary, dreaded night. You first. What are your thoughts? Okay. We're gonna slay. That's my thought. No, that's not me. Oh. Autumn's got her mouth full. <laughs> I'm thinking. I'm meditating. I'm speechless. Um, the, the house is gonna be for itself. Close your ears. Close your ears. 
Oh, Hannah, you're behind the camera. We are going to put the others to shame. You're gonna cry when you leave, and it's going to be. I'm gonna pay for all of your therapy after this because you're gonna need it. Oh, that was good. Boom! Oh, that was the board. Boom, the giggle awesome. after. So I think that the competition accidentally got into my camera and deleted the footage because yeah, we just I know, filmed yeah. this. We Autumn just deleted. and it was she, way we better. Just filmed this and, and it just suddenly wasn't wasn't and it. All of a sudden, it just wasn't anywhere to be found. They're so threatened. <laughs> they have to lie on my name. We believe that we are competing against only ourselves because when you know that you have this amount of talent, it's just like not about us. It's not about us. She's like, yeah. So I'm creative. <laughs> and Hannah has a cat. Right. Um, anyway, this is so pretty. It's my first time on the vloggy. And I think it's really fun. Is it a fun? <laughs> um, yeah. Should we go for like a Halloween hey. theme or like? Hey, hey. What? I don't know. Okay. What are your predictions? Um, honestly, I don't have a lot to say, but we'll, we'll show you the work afterwards. <laughs> yeah, I think we're gonna let, we're gonna let our, our work oh do God. the talking, and we'll talk to you after. Our, our I wish everyone luck. You know. Unproblematic men. Remember when Chad, when we played beer pong, and Chad did the free <laughs> game, and he was like, <laughs> we're gonna like. Yeah. And that's, like, hey, 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 that's hey. all you have to say? That was that's late. Uh, good luck. No scissors. No scissors up here. We need scissors. Oh, is that cute, by the good way? Good luck. Hi. All right, scissor me. Well, scissor poor me. choice of words. Scissor me. But Did anyway. It's on the vlog. It's rolling. No, I didn't say it. <laughs> The judge asking the important question. You the the boys is this one. Why, why is one of his eyes orange? No, the boys are good. Maddie, yeah, you haven't even seen the spider web on this side I of the room. I saw it. Yeah, it's no, very it's good. good. That's pretty I mean, not only can you not sing a note in tune, you have one of the, the, the weirdest voices <laughs> I've ever heard in my life. Well, weirdness is originality, too. You look better than I thought you were. The soundtrack to this section, I think, should be violin music. <laughs> No, he's a hottie. I won't deny that. <laughs> Although, I'm not going to say <laughs> Paula because at least she was nice and at least she was sweet. I feel like I've never looked worse. I'm editing this video right now and I just wanted to say something. Moving to a new city by yourself is really fun hard. I moved to New York in October of 2021. It took me literally until a couple months ago to feel like I had a friend group. People that make you feel like you aren't alone. Obviously moving out on your own and doing it by yourself is inherently a very lonely experience. And making friends is something that I have never felt like I was spectacular at anyways so coming to a city where there's like eight million people and i only know four of them from just past circumstances making friends was really difficult and i just want to say that if anyone else is maybe in a similar situation moved to a new place struggling to make friends it took me one two six months approximately to find the group of friends that i have now six months at least and that's like rough math that has just made this new city feel so much more like home my issue before when i had moved out my first two years of college i didn't have a group of friends i felt so lonely all the time and the place literally could not feel less like home and i spent most of my time there looking forward to going home like to my parents house which coincidentally is where i'm at right now for a few days but Besides the point. I always was just looking forward to going home. And then when it was time to go back to school, I literally felt so sick. I dreaded it. I never felt that way, like nauseous to go back to the city since I've lived there in the past year. There have been times where I did feel kind of sad to be leaving my family because I knew that I wasn't going back to a place that quite felt like home yet. And that was just because I hadn't really established 
myself or established a group of people that made it feel like home. Now that I have, I was sitting here in my parents' house like yesterday and thinking about this. I am so excited to go back to the city after this nice little getaway at home because I know that I'm going back and I have a group of people that I love that I'm gonna get to spend time with. And that just makes me really excited. And it literally feels like I have a little fan. Like it feels like the show Friends, which I'm sure if you haven't seen it, you've definitely heard of it. Literally feels like that. Making friends post-grad when you're not in the school system and you're not like kind of set up for socializing and classes and whatever, it's hard because you have to literally do it all on your own. But just don't give up on it. If you're looking for a sign, don't give up on it. Keep trying, keep putting yourself out there. Somebody will come along that you connect with. Yeah. Anyway, that's gonna be it for today's vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you liked it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have stayed until this point in the video, comment down below, I'm a real one because you're a real one. If you wanna see more videos from me, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I post a new video every Sunday. And if you forget that I post a new video every Sunday or you just wanna get notified right when I post a new video, make sure to turn on my post notifications for my channel. It's the little bell icon so that you never miss an upload and you get notified right when I post a new video. Again, thank you so much to ThreadUp for sponsoring today's video. If you guys wanna check out ThreadUp, you can go to my description click the link and use my code hannah30 for an additional 30 percent off of your first order from ThreadUp. and yeah i think that's all from me hope you guys all have a wonderful rest of your day and i'll see you guys in my next video bye